the history of the Marvel Cinematic Universe would probably be far different today had Fox managed to secure Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom. Because as we learned, once he was cast in that, he would have been off the radar for Marvel Studios, which was just getting off the ground. Yes, it has been confirmed, it's been rumored for a while, but we never had a sort of this was a thing that happened type of scenario where somebody from Marvel Studios actually confirmed it. Of course, recently we had that book that was based on the first decade of Marvel Studios and what came before it, going into details in regards to the early days of Marvel Studios. And what was revealed was that during the foundation of the MCU trying to get everything together, Robert Downey Jr. was somebody that was already on Marvel's radar in general. Except it wasn't for Tony Stark, as at that time, Tony Stark and Iron Man weren't even a part of the Marvel Studios catalog of characters. They were still tied up at another studio. Instead, Fox and Marvel Entertainment were already in the process and were actually auditioning Robert Downey Jr. for the Doctor Doom role. Now, of course, we know at the time, if you were cast for one of the other films, Marvel Studios was not interested in you. This only changed due to Chris Evans being able to put up a stellar performance for the Captain America audition. And that's what made them go, well, we're not going to do that anymore. We will look at actors that have appeared in other Marvel films. Now, before Iron Man 1, Robert Downey Jr. was a known name, certainly not as known as he became after Iron Man. So it's one of those things where they talk about it in the book and you realize that it's a scenario where if he was as Doctor Doom, he never would have even been invited to audition for Iron Man. And the, uh, well, the rollout of the MCU certainly would be different. Robert Downey Jr.'s career, who knows where it would be right now, or even if he would really have one, who knows how Iron Man would have been portrayed to offset, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of a different actor that could have been cast as him. So it's one of these things where you just to look at this book, you keep reading it, and that's certainly what I'm doing. And you're realizing that so many things could have gone so differently had just one thing fallen in into like a different piece of the puzzle that it really just makes you think of how fortunate Marvel Studios and how lucky Marvel Studios got that that first initial phase of films actually worked out and that some of the actors they ended up casting were in fact just available at that specific time or didn't end up taking a previous role just by a random chance what a what a weird scenario we would be in somewhere in the multiverse though robert downey jr plays dr doom and it was awful fantastic well second at least awful fantastic four movie and that is that's probably a sight to behold <laughs>